Hello, I'm Jane Nganga. Jane Nganga is from Kenya. I'm here to share my journey with hemifacial uh, spasms. I've suffered for 16 years, since 2006 to 2022. It wasn't an easy journey uh, because uh, it had really, really affected my confidence, my self-esteem. I was twitching. I had terrible headaches, I had withdrawn from my friends and family. It wasn't an easy journey. But uh, early this year, I met this doctor called Dr. Jadev from India Pune. He's a microvascular uh, decompression surgeon. And uh, he did a great work, as you can see. Today I'm not twitching. I'm able to smile. I have my full smile back. I woke up from theater. That was in March 17. I woke up from theater. Spasms free. Today is um, four months since surgery. And I've forgotten about everything that I've gone through. I'm suffering from hemifacial spasms since 2006. Uh, it's not possible to try because mm. my eyes closes a lot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I can't smile mm. well. Yeah. Uh, when I'm giving a speech in public, mm. it's so embarrassing. Mm. Yeah, because my, my face keeps on going on this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I'm, I can't see with this eye, okay. I have to be on glasses throughout. Oh, yeah. And uh, when are you uh, having any interaction with an unknown person or any meeting or you're stressed? Mm -hmm. Does the spasms increase? Yeah, yeah, especially when I'm, I'm, I ha I'm under pressure somehow or I'm de depressed. Yeah, it becomes a lot. And I, I always suffer from migraine, mm. headache. Mm. Yeah, constant. Constant headache. Yeah. And sometimes even the medication I take, it doesn't help at all. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. What are your feelings when, when you are not able to go out publicly or you are, uh, you know, uh, into your shell because of these spasms? Yeah, it, it feels bad mm. because I wasn't born like this. Mm. Something, that, uh, something that occurred at my, my mid-20s. Mm. So it feels bad. I, I'm not happy about it. That's why I want to, I want to have the surgery done. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel isolated? Yes, I do. You feel isolated? I feel isolated, yes. So what is your nature? How are you before your spasms? Before my spasms, I was, um, I, I'm born, I, I'm outgoing, mm -hmm. very outgoing. Mm -hmm. So uh, after now, what happened, I became reserved. Ah. I lost so many friends. Ah. Yes. So, uh, do you attend any kind of functions or social gatherings or uh, something of that sort? Not anymore. So, I how don't. many years you have been avoiding them? Uh, for the last one year. One year? Yeah. Because oh. they became worse. Mm. When you are crossing the road, does it trouble you? Yeah, yeah it does. It does. Sometimes you see things from this side, it's hard. Mm. Yeah. And then I, my neck also pulls a lot. Ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. So first when the spasm started, they started around? They started yeah. from my eyelid. Okay. It started with a twitch on my eyelid. Okay. Then it progressed to my left cheek. Mm -hmm. Then it, that, that now it affects even my To the neck. lips and yeah. even now the neck is affected. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. Mm. It's disturbing. So you have this vision problem also because of the spasms? Yes, yeah, like, the spasms. One eye is getting closed very often. And very so often, and when I close this one, mm. this one is too bright. I can't see something. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What is the nature of your work? What does your work uh, I'm demand? A I'm a business lady. Okay. Yeah, but uh, now, for the last one year, I've been working from home because I don't want to go out and meet people. Oh. Yeah. And what 
uh, is the nature of your business because what public interactions do you need when you, you are a business woman? I work with schools. Hmm. I meet teachers because I sell books, supplementary books in school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the COVID has impacted? Very now much. You? Very much. Very much? Yeah. Okay. Because the schools were closed. So mm -hmm. mask helped a lot because now I'm able to hide my, my twitches. Okay. But then my eyes still closes. So okay. when you meet with people, they think you're weaking at them. Oh. They think you're weaking. Uh -huh. Feels bad. Yeah. So there isn't uh, enough awareness about this in your country? No, not at all. They don't know what it is. Okay. People are suffering but they don't know. For, okay. for, for like 10 years I was told that there is no cure about this. Oh. Yeah, until when I went on uh, YouTube hmm. online and I started searching. Hmm. That's when I saw uh, Dr. Jaden, hmm. another hmm. doctor talking about hmm. it and I was hmm. happy to know that it has a cue, mm. microvascular decompression surgery. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, uh, the people around you, uh, when they know that there is this kind of a disease, well, how do they react? Are they supportive? Ah, not all of them, because they don't understand what is happening. They think it's a swap. They think something that uh, uh. that is normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Only those who suffer from from this one can mm. understand. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, how does your family members react to this? Ah, they were like, they didn't understand what it is. What it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had to make them understand. But they could tell my case has changed, mm -hmm. my looks and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and most of the time when they call, I'm, I'm on headache, I'm mm -hmm. having a headache. So, mm -hmm. they were scared about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they support me for this surgery a lot. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. my family has been so supportive to have this idea done. Okay. Yeah. Great to know that family is supporting you. Yeah, yeah, they're supporting. Okay. Great. Yeah. Ali, this year, I met this doctor called Dr. J. Dev from India Pune. He's a microvascular uh, decompression surgeon and uh, he did a great work as you can see. Today I'm not twitching. I'm able to smile. I have my full smile back. I woke up from theater. That was in March 17. I woke up from theater. Spasms free. Two weeks after the surgery I suffered a uh, uh, facial palsy where my this side was not active but within within two weeks it had all resolved and as you can see my face today I thank God today's um, four months since surgery and I've forgotten about everything that I've gone through for 16 years so allow me to take this opportunity to thank Dr. J. Dev and his team. And uh, it's also my prayer to everyone out there who is also suffering from this condition. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's, it's something that it's not easy to cope with. But if you need a good surgeon, a competent person, Go to Dr. J. Dev in Pune. I thank God for each and every one of them. Thank you so much. Wish you the best. <laughs>